what did you learn from directors like Spielberg, Lucas, and Truffaut when you worked with them? Um, Truffaut uh, was kind of shell shocked because he never only acted. He acted and written and produced and, and directed. He directed and written. He directed, written, and acted. But he never only acted, and he never knew how boring it was. And so during the shooting, he wrote two and a half, maybe three screenplays. And he was exactly the way he looks. He was the most graceful gentleman. And yet, he picked one person, the translator. And he picked on her and yelled at her and did terrible things. And uh, Bobby Dowden, who had the closest relationship to him, of any of us, finally said to him, what is this, why are you doing this to her? And Francois Truffaut burst into laughter and said, don't you know that on a film, you always pick one? And to him, it was perfectly normal to just decide to pick someone and hate them. <laughs> and that's what he did. Um, he had never known about waiting. And Jaws and Close Encounters were all about waiting. You waited for something, whether it was for one department to finish its work so that the other departments could start. Um, the man who financed Columbia at that time lost all credential by walking onto the set of Close Encounters, looking around and saying, why aren't these people working? And everyone who heard him say that knew he didn't know shit about the movements. And what looked like people just sitting around are people waiting for X to happen so that they could do what they do. And in fact, it may look like waiting, but it's not. And so Herb Allen, bye bye. He was, um, he was escorted to the divorce. 